What is it, Tyler? Man. Mega Man The Wily Wars? I think I've been to those at Walmart. What's up guys, it's your buddy Tyler coming at you with a brand new video here on My Retro Life. And if you've been watching this channel for quite some time now, you no doubt know that I am a huge Mega Man fan. I've done a couple of episodes all about my life back in the day with Mega Man. Tyler's still playing Mega Man. Mega Man 2 was my favorite Mega Man game growing up, but one of the most amazing stories I have to tell is that of how I got the Mega Drive PAL version of Mega Man The Wily Wars back in 1996 on my birthday. Mega Drive for Sega Genesis, the PAL system in Europe. This game was never released in the United States. Dad and I played Mega Man The Wily Wars for the first time on the Sega Channel cable service. This was an amazing modem that plugged into the top of your Sega Genesis and allowed you to, from your cable service directly out of the phone line, download up and coming Sega Genesis games. We got to actually try out a bunch of games that never came out here in America, including Pulse Man, Golden Axe 3, and Mega Man The Wily Wars. I remember seeing this game advertised many, many times in game magazines. The hype, the buildup for these remastered 16-bit versions of the original three Mega Man games, games that I no longer owned. I actually, in 1994, when we first heard about Mega Man The Wily Wars, I, I didn't have a Nintendo anymore. We had yet to repurchase the Nintendo Entertainment System, which was my first console. And so the idea of having Mega Man 1, 2, and 3 in 16-bit form Capcom was basically going to do what Nintendo did for Super Mario All-Stars on the Super Nintendo, but they were gonna do it for Mega Man on the Sega Genesis, and this was a big deal. Well, the months went by, we waited and waited, and we kept reading in the game magazines, Dad and I. We just kept looking for news updates about Mega Man The Wily Wars, and it was still going to come out, but it was facing delays. By early 1996, it had been announced that Mega Man The Wily Wars was officially canceled in the United States. It was not going to come out. And this, guys, honestly, was one of the most disappointing moments I can remember as a gamer, as a child. Dad, knowing that I had been so crushed by the news that this game was canceled in North America, decided to take matters into his own hands. For my birthday in 1996, he imported the European version of Mega Man The Wily War. Wait a second, is this the last one? Yes. Oh, good. Yes, that's it. Man, I can't believe it. I knew there was I'm something sorry. else. Oh, that's a, just a little thing we got. On. We should have gave that first. Sorry about that. that. <laughs> What is it, Tyler? Man. Mega Man The Wily Wars? I think I've been to those at Walmart. That was just a little trifle we picked up. I was in complete shock. My buddy Brian was there that day and he was a big Mega Man fan. And I can tell you guys, I, I remember us being floored. Sure, I was hamming it up a little bit for the camera, but to finally have and hold in my hands this game that I thought didn't exist. I actually didn't know it had come out in the UK that we could import it. Dad found out about that and surprised me with it. It came from Europe. That's a, a German version. It's a Mega Drive. I, had, I got an adapter that allows you to play. It's a PAL game. PAL system. Really? It's from Europe. Oh, <laughs> For the longest time, guys, this is how I owned and experienced Mega Man The Wily Wars. We had an adapter called Magic Key, and this let you play PAL games or Japanese games. And we used that for all of our Genesis imports, our Mega Drive imports, as they were called overseas. You guys still gaming out? It was one of the jewels of my collection, seriously. But there was this lingering feeling throughout the years that of what could have been. How come we didn't get 
Mega Man The Wily Wars in North America. Why wasn't it released? Why did it get canceled? Sega and the relationship with Capcom seemed to be improving after the release of Street Fighter 2. I didn't know the answer back then, and for the longest time, I was kind of miffed by the whole thing. It was really a shame. Capcom put it together, and it was only in Japan and in Europe. Yeah. And this is the European version. <laughs> Tyler's wanted it forever. This would have been a big seller on the Sega Genesis, and it would have been great to own an officially licensed North American release. Well, officially released in 2021, Retrobit teamed up with Capcom to produce a brand new, officially released cartridge in a, in a glorious collector's edition box set. This is the real deal, guys. It finally came out. We can all finally say, yes, Mega Man The Wily Wars was released in North America, and I couldn't be happier. Retrobit was very nice. They gave me a copy of the game for us to take a look at here on the channel. When I think about Mega Man The Wily Wars in particular, it's just, it, it was such a fabled game, such a legend within my household. Um, I just, I just always will remember the hype and just looking at the game magazines with dad, preparing for the release of this game, playing it with him on the Sega channel and just loving it. And then the crushing disappointment of its cancellation in America, it feels, you know, with the release of this Retrobit and Capcom officially licensed release of the game, finally, here in North America, it feels like a giant redemption arc. It feels like we've come full circle after all these years. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching today. I wanna to hear from you, though, guys. Do you have any history with this game? Maybe you played it for the first time on the Sega channel back in the day like I did. Or perhaps you imported the Mega Drive version. Let me know in the comments below if you have any kind of cool history with this game. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Before we leave today, I do wanna mention that YouTube has granted me the ability to have super thank yous on the channel. This is a new function. Click the super thanks icon below the video for an extra way of saying thank you here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.